YouTube fam, what is going on? It is your boy Dylan Flex. Yes, guys, we back at it again with another video. To the people now just tuning in, make sure you smash that subscribe button, guys. If you wanna learn how to make easy money, get inventory and sneaker reselling tips, this is the channel for you. I'm gonna show you some of the recent pickups that I just picked up now. I think you guys are gonna love it. I'm gonna explain to you some reselling tips that I keep getting a ton of DMs about, and I'm gonna help you guys with some of the questions that you have been asking me. But without further ado, let's jump into some sneakers that I think you guys are gonna really like. Showing you guys a couple items that we got going on. All of them couldn't fit. This was just some of the recent pickups that I have picked up. I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that we get on Capital Vegas. If you're not following Capital Vegas, guys, please make sure you're following. Don't miss out on mystery boxes. Yes, I put stuff like this in mystery boxes to make it easy for you guys to get inventory and to make profit. I have a ton of repeat customers who keep buying mystery boxes for me. I'm trying to get back to all your guys' DMs. This is some of the inventory that we just picked up. I have more in the other office. So talking about expensive sneakers, huh? I got a lot of DMs about your favorite pair. 7,000 for some tennis shoes? If you guys saw this pair on Capital Vegas, this one sold in under five minutes. I sold it for 6,700. I think the last sale on StockX was like seven or 7,100. Gave you guys a little bit of room to eat on this pair. One of my favorite pairs, if you guys haven't seen one of these Dior's in person, man, this one is definitely something special. Everything about it, detail, the box, the pins. This is one of those shoes that definitely, for me, is the hottest shoe of the year, hands down, if you guys got to get this, especially even for retail. Or if you guys cop this shoe at a good price, I I know you guys must be thrilled. The high tops are extremely sick. This pair, the low top, personally, this is like the summer vibe. This one is crazy. Hottest shoe of the year. Guys, I got Stussy's, we got Sean's, we got Strange Love. So we spent a couple bucks on some sneakers here. Of course, let me get the camera right. We got Yeezys, man. We got the OVOs. Jordans are really hot. Talk about ones, huh? Satins, bread toes, guys. Oh, this is a cool pair that I haven't seen in a while that I got to pick up. These are pretty sick. Yes, all these pairs are gonna be on Capital Vegas. I wanted to show you guys some of the inventory we picked up. Yes, we're even buying designer. Saint Laurent, Gucci, obviously Supreme. I'm only buying right now in Las Vegas, so if you're in Las Vegas, have shoes, you're making a trip to here, make sure you DM me, guys either on my personal page on Dylan Flex or Capital Vegas. We are buying all pairs, brand new, used, any condition, all sizes, we are buying, and you guys can see what we are buying. This was probably my most hype pickup though when I bought the pair of Dior's. Selling it under five minutes was sick, my price was really good. It's not every day, of course, you get to see shoes for $7,000, man. For some tennis shoes, if you guys saw my cap or my uh, Instagram page, Dylan Flex, 7,000 for some tennis shoes, man? Guys, the sneaker game is crazy, and I'm gonna explain to you in a second why I think you should get into the sneaker game now if you have not already. Come on, man, some Sean's. Look, how, look at the condition on these bad boys. The camera can pick it up. They're clean. Moon rocks. We have a bunch of hyped sneakers, really cool stuff. Some gems over here, some cool grays. I'm just gonna show you guys really quick before I hop in and start talking to you guys about reselling, just some of the hype stuff that we got here. I love when I do buyouts. I love the history of the sneakers. Some of the sneakers obviously mean more to me, trying to get them when I was younger, stuff now. Being able to get them now to me is so cool. But I'm gonna jump in now and talk to you guys about some reselling tips and tricks. Okay guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions about reselling. Dylan, what are some of the tips I should do? I know I make a lot of videos on this, but it's the number one question that I get asked and I feel like I can't reply back to every single DM because there's so many of you that have so many questions, right? So I'm just gonna give some basic tips and tricks that I think that will help you guys in the long term when it comes to making money and reselling. First and foremost, before we even start, I think right now, if you're thinking about being a reseller, if you're just starting or you're slowly getting into it, now is the best time to get into the resale market, guys, right? Resale right now has never been hotter. You must be thinking, how, what, what's going on? Right now, guys, people are online shopping, buying sneakers, they are going crazy. I cannot keep 
enough inventory. That's how much stores, people, clients, everybody is buying, right? If you're thinking about reselling, I mean that's clothes, shoes, I would sell all of the above, now is the time to start, guys. They have already predicted that resale is going to grow five times over the next year. And that's just a guess. I guess even higher than that if it was me personally. Sneakers right now and resale is booming, guys. That's secondhand stuff that's pre-owned. Everything like that now is booming. So if you're thinking about reselling, now is the time. Focus down, make some extra money. I told you guys, if you're just looking to make extra money, have this be a full-time job, both of these are doable if you set your mind to reselling, right? Now I have a couple tips and tricks that I think will help you guys excel and to make even more money and help you start doing this, right? I have a lot of questions saying, Dylan, I need capital. I bought a lot of shoes, right? I can't seem to sell them for the price that I'm looking for. Okay, I understand. That happened to me in the beginning too. I thought that I should get a certain price for the shoe because I felt like the shoe was worth that, right? A lot of you are holding sneakers for three to six months waiting for an extra 40 or $60, right? If you guys flip the shoe now, reinvested that money into something hotter, something you know will sell, that 40 and $60 means nothing. You guys can make that five, 10, 20 times back if you sold the shoe. So I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but if you're holding a shoe for an extra 40 or $60, sell it now guys, reinvest in something else, keep the money going. I'm obviously not saying you should sell everything. I'm saying if you are looking to have more capital, sell the sneakers that you've been holding for months, guys. I'm telling you, it won't matter when you reinvest your money into something else. No, it's cool to be able to show buyouts like this, showing that I bought Dior, showing that I bought Jordans, showing that I spent over $20,000 worth of sneakers, right? I love showing that to you guys. But what I like doing more is being able to help you guys get to this level and even past that level. To show you guys how to start reselling and to show you guys that there is a way to make real money being a reseller. You don't have to have your nine to five. You can have your nine to five, have this. That's why shoes are so cool. But I wanted to show you guys that this is real life. A lot of people telling me, Dylan, I look up to you. What are some tips you can help me with? I always say, guys, just watch my YouTube videos, right? And for the people asking me what shoes they should buy, any shoe is a good buy at the right price, right? So any Jordan 1, I know guys, Jordan 1s are popping, Yeezys, at the right price, it's a great buy. Even if a new shoe comes out, if you pay too much for the shoe and you're stuck with the shoe, it is not a good buy. It doesn't matter if it's new. I know you're flexing on the gram, but once you're done flexing, you actually have to sell the shoe. So you have to buy it at the right price. Check your markets, guys. You know what the markets are. Your GOATs, your StockX, your Ebays. Check to see what price that you should sell it. People ask me profit margins. What do you want to have your profit margins at? Okay, so if I know it's a guaranteed sale, I will take a lower profit because I know I can sell it like that. If it's something I know I'm gonna have to sit on, to pay a price that I know it's okay to sit on. I can't stress this enough. Reselling is about who you know. It's about doing good business and not burning bridges. My last videos I talk about this and this is how passionate I am about this. Do not let 20 to $40 ruin your relationship with someone. It is not worth it. You will make more money long term with that person. A lot of people have written me saying, Dylan, thank you for that advice. I was too hard headed. I should have sold the shoe. I did sell the shoe now. I'm having that person a long term customer and now I'm buying for them continuously. Don't think that you struck gold on that one pair, right? I think you should get your money, but a lot of times people will sit on that shoe for months, get upset, it either went down or they can't sell it and now they're stuck with that shoe. Please don't be that person. Oh yes, let's get back to mystery boxes. If you're new to my channel, you must be thinking, why when I go on shopdylanflex.com, is your mystery boxes always sold out? Well, for the people that know and think that people have bots, they said that bots now are getting all the mystery boxes. My mystery boxes sell out really fast because the product I just showed you is the product that I'm gonna be putting in mystery boxes for you guys to have and to receive easy money and easy inventory. I understand it's hard now to get inventory. It's hard for a lot of people. I'm making it very easy for you guys to get inventory. 
I don't know too many people that do stuff like that. I've seen a lot of mystery boxes. Yes, I've talked about this before. A lot of people's mystery boxes. It's a combination of brand new and pre-owned sneakers. Yes, you actually have to sell the sneakers, guys. I had somebody write me, I had a comment saying, yo, I got the shoes, what do I do? Okay, we well, actually have to sell the sneakers to make the money. Yes, I know. It's crazy, people actually write me that. I wanna be able to eat with you guys. I leave a little bit of room so we both can eat. And that's the cool thing, and that's the level that I've been trying to get at. If I'm successful, I want you guys to be successful. That's why I was starting my steel group, and this is why I wanna help you guys to be able to do it, because it is so possible to make money off reselling. And it's not just a flex. People actually have this as a full-time job. This is not a joke. So I wanted to be able to show you guys that. I'm not gonna talk about mystery boxes too much. I didn't even wanna have a crazy long video today. I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that we got going on. I've been loving the feedback from you guys. Thank you so much for all the positive comments, all the love. I'm gonna continue doing some day in the lives, some really cool sneaker videos with you guys. Thank you for the support. If you have not, please make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna be doing crazy giveaways. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff and you never know what you might get in a mystery box. Guys, I love all the support. Thank you, stay tuned for the next one. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Man, I just wanna go fast. Hold on my teeth and on my head.